Hi children, welcome back again. Okay, in the last video we have stopped till the water animals. Uh, till the water animals we have discussed about two types of animals, domestic animal and the wild animal. Uh, today we are going to continue with the water animals. Water animals are those animals which will live under the water and around the water. You know that, already you know that which are the animals which are going to live in the water and around the water and even these animals which animals will live inside the water are called as aquatic animals also the for example fish water animals means first we will uh, recall the animal that is fish whale shark turtle crab frog crocodile sea duck so this like this uh, birds and animals are going to live in the water and around the water. Again in this there are some animals which are going to live completely inside only in the water. Fish, whale uh, and the uh, sea snake and sea horse. Okay and the variety of fishes many types of fishes we will get. So these are the animals which are going to live only inside the water. They are going, they will not come outside and live on the land. They will, go, they are going to live only inside the um, uh, water. Then these, what, uh, these animals are called as aquatic animals. Of course, these animals are also turtle, crab, frog, crocodile, seal, duck, snake, Okay. These are the some animals and the frog also. These are the some animals we call them as amphibians. Amphibians means these animals will live inside the water also and even outside the water also. That is on the land also. On the both they have their body adjustment to live and survive their life. For example, uh, turtle we can see on the land also and inside the water also. Crab. We can see on the land also and inside the water also. Frog, of course we can see just around our uh, houses and even sometimes in the water also. Crocodile, we can see, you, you might have went to the some juice and all. You can see crocodile, it will come outside of the water also and it, it is going to be in the pool also. Crocodile, okay. A seal, a seal is also one of the aquatic animal which is going to live on the land also and in the water also. And even the, the any, uh, bird, duck is going to live both on the land also and in the, on the water also. So like this animals which have the characteristics of living in the both, in the water as well as on the earth. So these animals are called as amphibians because they have the property of adjusting their uh, skin or their body in the, in the water also and on the land also. So this is about the aquatic animals and the some animals, some aquatic animals like fish and uh, crab and sometimes the frog, these are going to be eaten by some people. These are called as the seafoods. Uh, fish uh, is going some uh, many people will be there non vegetarian they will eat the fish also crab also and the um, uh, frog also and the crab also they will eat them and uh, okay even when we meet us um, some, when we go to some picnic or some vacation trips we can go to the sea where we can get the whale sorry shark we can play with the shark and the um, we can play with some other uh, animal, aquatic animals we can enjoy, okay. Then, at last we will discuss about the birds. See children, birds we have seen. There are many type of birds, big bird also, small bird also and we know that birds means they are very famous only for the flying, isn't it? Birds have two wings so they can fly in the air. And how the birds are going to live? Just like aquatic animal, wild animals and domestic animals, birds are also going to live on the tree. There they have built, a, they will build a nest. In that nest they are going to take rest or they are going to either lay the young and they are going to protect their small babies in the nest. And that nest they are going to uh, prepare by using a thread, small thread. Uh, by using a small thread they will prepare that nest. And uh, 
birds will some birds will eat insects and some birds will eat fruits and some birds will eat the grains and the insects food. and even after eating they will bring uh, the food for their babies also they will take and go to the nest and some birds are there they will not going to um, they will not build a nest they are going to lay the egg whenever they uh, need um, they are laying eggs they just go and take the help of other nest for example cuckoo cuckoo will not build any nest it is going to use other nest for laying the egg and protection of the their babies for time being for the short time and then some other uh, sparrow and some other animal uh, sorry uh, birds are there they will prepare they are going to build a nest for themselves and even they are going to take some grains and some food materials and they will keep in the nest for the uh, next in the for the use of future and some uh, birds will be there they are going to live in the hole of the big tree there will be a big tree and there will be a small holes will be there so they, uh, the bird can go inside and they can sit and they can sleep and they can take rest that is just like their home or their house okay this is about the birds see children even we have uh, learnt you might have learnt in your previous classes that is some animals i have written here and the young one of those animals also i have written for example uh, frog first one is frog okay the frog young one of frog is known as tadpole and the cow young one of the cow is known as the calf and the young one of horse animal name is horse and young one of horse is known as the foal foal that both come up and the foal and the uh, goat young one of goat is known as the kid and the hen young one of small chicks will be there na? so for them we call them as a chicks or chick and the turkey the young one of small turkey is known as the pout and the duck young one of the duck is known as the duckling so this is how we can um, um, uh, come to know that the young one of the some animals and the birds so this was the last video of this topic children uh, i hope you all have understood this whatever we have discussed in, in, uh, in this video and before ending this i want to give you some homework so write down the question that what are uh, what are animals and give example and then you can write uh, write down any five animals and their young ones i hope you will do this homework and you will enjoy this video and you will understand whatever we have discussed in this video and uh, keep enjoying and keep understanding and uh, let us meet in the next video till then take care bye bye